Okay, guys, you're joining me backstage at the Opera House, and we've been told that there's actually a ghost in dressing room two. Luckily, Derek O'Reilly is here, and he wants to help us investigate. We, we've been told by the management of the Opera House that some terrible things happened here many years ago. And, you know, if, uh, I'm, I'm feeling some really bad vibes I, about I, here. I, I don't want to go in. Like, seriously, you saw something, didn't you? You think you saw something? I saw something, I saw something earlier on, and it's really starting to worry me. But if people want to continue to use the Opera House, I'm breaking down here a bit. I'm breaking down. If people want to continue to use the Opera House, I have to make these spirits go home. They have to go home to where they belong. So, shall we go, shall we go in? Uh, if, you, if, you, if you think you can handle it. I think I can handle it. If I, if I break down, we'll have to maybe take a rest for five minutes, but let's, let's do it. I think there's been a murder in here. A murder? A murder. I did see some blood on the wall, but it's okay, guys. We're going to investigate. We're going to go through now and see what's going on, okay? Let me, let me just channel myself and yeah. get in touch with the, the other world. <laughs> this really is something to be here and witness this. You're insulting a lot. <laughs> Right, let's go. I'm ready. You go first. <laughs> Typical man. I actually don't mind now. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. I'm, I'm a He's a man walking me to a room, we'll be feel, okay. I can feel something in here. I don't think it is. Mm. We're alright, we're alright. There's nothing here so far. This, this room is clear at the moment. I actually feel really, suddenly like I need to cry. Can you feel it's cold in here? That window's open. <gasps> Did you hear that? There's not even anyone over there. Oh my god. Hold on a minute. Now, we were told... Serious, I don't like this. We were told many years ago that uh, a raver took uh, too, ma too many alcoholic drinks and... Uh, Is it a hardcore raver? I, I think so. it could have been a funky house or a uh, Belgian foxtrot. I think it was a Belgian foxtrot yeah. rave here in the 30s. And uh, I can... It feels like I'm oh, this Something, something ghastly's happened here. Someone played a take rap that record, and, and people actually danced. <laughs> and I think that the casualties are in this room right now. <laughs> can you, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Is there anything? Is there anybody out there? If you're out there, make a noise. Talk to me. Do something. Make, make two noises for yes. Two noises for yes. Twelve for no. <laughs> nothing. We're getting nothing here. It's like I can feel a presence. Talk to us. Talk to us. And we'll leave you alone. If there's anybody out there, just give us a sign. Not a no smoking sign, something, another sign. T two knocks for no. Two knocks for no. Anybody, any, well, I think. I really don't like this. I really just, I think we should go. <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> oh, that, that sausage roll's coming back up on me. <laughs> Greg the Baker's got a lot to answer for, I'll tell you that right now. You're, you're acting really weird, are you okay? Oh my god. If you can see this, I think someone's channeling through him. Oh, that's my pails playing up again. Oh, I, I should get that clean for the doctors. I think this room is clear. You're free to go, ravers. Go and rave in peace. Step into the light. I've made your weekend, and you can, you can actually rave in peace in the knowledge that... No more take that records, we'll be playing this venue by ghost, because as you can clearly see, there's nothing here anymore. And you can go home knowing you've ruined your career by doing this interview. <laughs>